Hi guys, Dr. Gardner with Backbone Wellness right here in Cincinnati. Okay, now, have you ever heard of failed back surgery syndrome? Because I was halfway through chiropractic school before I ever did. You know, uh, we were talking last week about that Washington State study, remember, where you had, um, they were following workman's compensation cases. And so you have two groups of people with the same problem, right? So the first group of people with the back pain problem, they go to an orthopedic surgeon first. And then they end up having a 42.7% chance that they end up having a back surgery. And the second group, with the exact same problem, they go to a chiropractor first. And they have a 1.5% chance of having surgery. Now, let's combine that with, there was a study that found that the number of lumbar fusions in the United States increased 170.9% in just 10 years. So now let's... Think about that for a moment. Okay. Do we believe that there was a 170% increase in the number of people hurt? Or does people's misery at some point start to look like good business? I don't know. Okay. Another study followed a group of people that had a lumbar fusion. And then 15 months later, they followed them. And they reported only a 35% success rate in terms of perceived recovery, perceived disability, and pain. So that's a 65% failure rate. It's unbelievable, right? So that brings us back to failed back surgery syndrome. Today's study stated, quote, with regards to spinal surgery, it's estimated that 15% to 61% of patients reported a persistent or recurrent pain post-surgically. And moreover, listen to this, up to two-thirds of all chronic pain patients enrolled in pain centers across the United States are believed to have experienced a failed back surgery, unquote. So that's just sad. It really is. I mean, so in a, the quest to be part of the solution, one of the techniques that we use to help people to avoid surgeries or to help them after a surgery that did not work, it's called flexion distraction. I say that because in the study they stated that, quote, flexion distraction mobilization reported no adverse events and noting a benefit to all patients regardless of surgical procedure used, unquote. So you see, it's not until I got into practice and began to meet people who were scheduled to have a surgery or who had had a surgery and they were still messed up. And then over the years, ending up helping so many of these people. You know, from what I've seen, there needs to be a really a paradigm shift in people's thinking. So, you know, I, I get it. I did strength athletics for years, right? So I've been really injured in the past. And... When we get hurt, what happens? Okay, we get scared. And when we get scared, we don't know what to do. And so we're willing to hand over our power to someone else. Does that make sense? You know, we hope that, that they'll have the answer. Here, I'll, I'll do whatever you say. Just please help me. Right? So, because we need help. Today, I want to empower you and give you your sovereignty over your own body. So... We have at this point, I think like 50 videos on our Facebook and on our YouTube page with exercises and great advice. You know, we're putting out awesome content every single day. So I want to leave you with a statement from the conclusion of today's study that, that we're talking about. It said, quote, chiropractic spinal manipulation was used without significant adverse effects and with reported positive clinical outcomes, unquote. God knows it's worked for me. Right? So if you or someone that you love needs help or you need someone to talk to, just you can go ahead and give us a call. Okay? Or you can message me and we'll, and we'll see if we can help you. If we think we can help you, we'll tell you that. Okay? If we don't think that we can help you, we'll tell you that too. Okay, thanks guys.